is actually part of his registered. Yes, are yellow. <laughs> Cash is now back home too. Good morning. We're back at the kitchen sink. Hey, hey, it's Wednesday evening. Um, I went grocery shopping today. And we haven't helped, done a whole lot. It rained this morning. Um, let's see, did we do anything this morning? Oh, we delivered some hay. That's what we did. Um, so now we are going to tag our bull, our black Hereford bull. Uh, when we brought him home, we didn't put in um, our Richie tags. And I had some questions about it. Um, it's going to be backwards, obviously, to you guys, but um, we're going to put in his ears. And I'm going to explain it to you a little bit more about the tagging. I had some great questions. You guys are awesome. So um, these are Richie tags. They are engravable. They never fade. Um, this is what I had on stock. So we actually just Dremel out our tag. Um, this is our brand from Jason and I's wedding, and we put it on everything. I can't understand what he's saying. It might be easier to explain it this way. So 21 is the year he was born. Cash is actually part of his registered name. It's his registered name is this. So we call him Cash. And KA82 was his tattoo number that's in his ear. So that's how we're going to identify him. And we put on the JKW. This is actually old Richie tags we have. Um, the new white ones actually are already engraved. But they match. Match our resort farms. We're just getting everything lined up for tomorrow. Oh, bud. Oh. Take one. <laughs> they must have had it way up in there. Then just give him a new hole. No. We're making one have to, but you just gotta hold it, buddy. <laughs> he wants to give Sweet Pea a kiss. That's part of the issue. Oh, bud. Looks great. Look good? Yep. So she was born in 2020 and out of the 51 cows. So that's how she earned her number, 051. Which then we put in these tags. And he has his mama's number on top and then 337. So he's the 37th calf of 2023. And then if we ever went over 100 or... If we ever went over a hundred calves, then it would be three one three seven. Yeah. So you do that, and then it'd be the one hundred thirty seventh calf. Calf, but the G O fifty one is the same as her tag, so that so we in can. In theory, your number really should be three zero three seven, but we don't have that many head yet to have that many digits. So have that num many numbers, and we're just using um, what are they? Y tags, Z tags, what are those? These are Z, uh, Z tags. So we're using- they're just a lot easier to write down. As soon as they're born, we tag them. We don't have to go chasing them around, fight with mama. They're just, we, as soon as they drop, we tag them. So everybody's getting these yellow tags. And then when we come in to wean and pull off potential hefer, heifers and replacement stock, that's when they'll earn their forever Richie tag that never fades, never goes away, never rubs off. When they're actually introduced to the herd. Like, yep. They're, they're officially the herd. When they but earn the, their keep. The, um, so like 60, she's Sweet Pea here, she's got a tag. We just tagged that bull. Eight is actually an original from 18? 
And then, uh, so she has an old tag. So she will actually, when we do all the herd maintenance here in a few months, everybody that has an old tag or a faded tag or a bad tag will actually upgrade and we'll have to get those rich tags. There's only oh, one tag. Oh, there's oh. only one tag out there. The one baby ain't tagged out there that uh, we know it's nines. But it, I mistagged it, and so we took the tag out so that way her head would be right and her ear would grow right. We'll just retag her later on. The biggest thing with these calves when you're tagging, they have three veins in their ears, and you want to kind of hit in between them so you don't cripple their ear because otherwise you'll have a droopy ear. Sometimes it's hard to hit a moving target. <laughs> moving target. Not always the easiest. All right, we'll chore these kids. We'll actually turn her out. We're going to turn her out tomorrow, probably. Won't you say? Okay. Mm -hmm. Since we have this trailer down here anyway. I don't know if we can get them walked up there as easy as we walked her down. Good morning. We're back at the kitchen sink. Um, I have bottles to make because now I not only have two bottle calves, I now have another orphan, and I'll explain it as we go. But... Um, Jason and I are hauling cash to Clark at Cattle Visions where we went to AI school to get jump today to collect semen. So, take you to that process and we'll see you in the semi probably. So this is another Brian baby from Spencer Creek. So Beck's same family. Um, he think he was a twin, never could figure out who his mama was. Um, he doesn't even have a number. So he's gonna need a name. You guys wanna help name this cute little guy? It's a boy. So what's gonna happen is we'll keep him and the one that I'm pulling off our our heifer at home. Um, that's snacking from other people. They'll come back and they'll be in the, this pen. And then we're gonna take Bex and Teddy actually over to the farm and uh, put them in a bigger area. It's always something, it's always something. Do I want bottle babies? Um, that's a, that's a Heinz 50-50 question because I love, I love babies. Um, would I go out and buy bottle caps? Not necessarily. But when I'm asked to nursery them, um, or we have to do it for our own livestock, it's one thing. Uh, Jason ran down to get me some hay for the horses. I'm going to leave them in now. For now, I'll deal with them after a while. Shiloh's was a little bit crabby with the babies, but it's only because... When they get here, they think that they can nurse her. She's not too fond of that.
Go. Up the door. Go. 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 Hey, Jason, we got another guy coming. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, Come on. Come on. Cash, go. Those are not your ladies. Go. Cash, go. Go. Well, uh, well go. no, we're not live. I mean, do you want to go live? Is that what your goal is here? So more or less, they're just using a dummy steer and uh, letting Cash do his own thing. And they'll stick a tube up there and catch the semen if we can and do what we need to do. Maybe. Did we get it that time? Got a little better color to it. He thinks he's giving it to us. That's for sure. Did we screw him up by putting those cows in there? That didn't help. I mean, it's good that he did that so he knows what he's doing. But yeah, I told Jason, if this doesn't work, just keep him away from cows for seven days prior to coming. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just take. We'll just take him home and then not put him with anybody. That's not too bad, but it could be better, right? Oh, it looks better than color-wise. color, color wise. You So know, what are you looking for color-wise? Just Is there cream, certain... creaminess. A lot of Angus are yellow, more yellow, but yeah, I mean, it looks better color-wise this time. I can run it back to some shade. <laughs> Did you guys graduate from the nursery into the big pen? So they're eating grain, they're doing really good. So we brought them over here. Do you have the zoomies, Teddy? Where is it, Teddy? Hmm? Huh? I still bring your milk. Yes. Ash is now back home too. We did take out those ladies. Um, we'll take him back over to Cattle Visions next week for another jump session. He did fairly well today. He passed at 65%. I'll kind of explain a little bit more as we go go into depth and how we're doing and different things. It is lovely and raining. There is a baby calf that was born earlier, I think February, and it's just not not doing well. It's nursing off to all the other moms. So I'm making that executive decision to just go ahead and uh, pull that baby off because it's robbing around. Um, and I'll just take it home and it'll be a bottle calf too. Is it ideal? No, it's not, but it's sometimes that's just the way it is and can't have it Robin from other moms. So we'll take it home and love on it. And the other two bigger kids are back here and I'm over here twice or sometimes more than that anyway. So plus eventually this is where all the calving stuff will happen. You know, I gotta figure out what's going on with my office. It's flooded. And then, of course, you know, my tack room. So we'll be able to have the cabin box over here, and our vet meds, and just everything in one location, which will be really, really nice and handy. And it all just takes time. We can't have everything 
the way we want it. Um, it's just not the way the world works for us. Anyway, yeah, it just takes time. It's a little spitfire. Good girl? <laughs> nope, don't touch me. Is it a heifer? Okay. All right, well, I'll take you home and we'll go get you some meals, okay? Yes. Welcome to the Three Ring Circus. That one's going to be a spitfire. I have a feeling. Take it. It was hard to the camera and do this at the same time, guys.